Grab your top hats and monocles, because today we're going 24 karat gold. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you're having a great day today. So yes, we are checking out a genuine set of 24 karat gold guitar strings. We're gonna compare these up against a lowly set of D'Addario's and find out if that sweet, sweet gold tone is worth it or not. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so. You can click on the bell to be notified when new videos become available. Other than that, let's check these things out. Now, to be completely honest, I'm not a fancy string kind of guy. This is my jam right here. 25 sets of basic D'Addario EXL 110s. We've got 25 sets of strings in the box, so you're never running to the store when you break a string. And, you know, for 100 bucks US, 25 sets of strings, we're talking about four bucks a set. So really affordable. Now, in contrast, we've got the Optima 24 karat gold strings. And these guys, by the time I got them to my house, was about 35 bucks Canadian, so somewhere around 30 bucks US. Now, of course, if you didn't have to pay shipping and you could find them at your local store, probably somewhere around 25 bucks. So we're talking about four or five sets of D'Addario's versus one set of the gold Optimas. But hey, I'm willing to take one for the team. Let's try these things out and see how they compare to the basic D'Addario's. All right, so let's unbox these things, find out what all the fuss is about. So we've got a set of 10 to 46 gauge strings, just like our D'Addario's, so that'll make for an interesting comparison. Let's pull these out and take a look. Ooh, check that out. That bright gold looks super cool. Let's take a few out and just take a look here. Now, I think the concept behind the gold is that you're never going to have tarnishing strings. Let's try one of the thinner strings. Oh, yeah. So even the thin strings are gold as well. Looks super cool. Let's put them on a guitar, see what it sounds like. All right. So we've got our cheap strings. We've got our expensive strings. And I've got my American Professional Strat here. This is Sienna Sunburst with the Rosewood Fingerboard. I will link to it in the video description below. So what I'm going to do is record five different clips with this Strat. And then I'm going to replace the strings and do the same five clips so i'm gonna record i'll be back all right you guys i'm back and i just finished recording five short clips with our cheap d'addario strings and i've strung up the strat with our very expensive optima 24 karat gold strings so i'll take a few shots for you guys so you can really see what they look like because to be honest they are quite beautiful i find it really striking up against the rosewood fingerboard and overall just look very custom and very cool now i think the the whole point of the coating is to resist tarnishing and to add longevity, but we can't really test that today in a video. What we can test is what the tone is like. So what we're going to do is I'm going to record five of the same clips with the gold strings and we'll see what the difference is. Now before I play the clips for you guys, I think we ought to do a blind test. I don't want you guys seeing these gold strings and forming an opinion one way or the other. Let's use our ears. I'm going to mix and match the order so you never know which guitar is coming first and just see which set you like the best. You guys, so that was our neck pickup playing some clean and classic Fendery type blues tones. Guitar number one was the cheap strings, guitar number two were the gold strings. I could definitely hear some differences, we'll talk about that when we get to the end of our clips. But for now, let's try another classic Fender tone in position four. We'll see how each you know string set handles that classic Fender quack. Let's take a listen. <laughs> All right, 
in position four, guitar number one was the gold strings and guitar number two were our cheap strings. Let's go on to position three and play some clean and pristine arpeggios. <laughs> So guitar number one were the gold strings and guitar number two were the cheap Diderios. Let's go on to position two, another classic Strat tone. Here we go. <laughs> You guys, guitar number one were the basic Diderios and guitar number two were the gold strings. Let's wrap things up in the bridge pickup. We're gonna add a little bit of overdrive. Let's check that out. So the results for the bridge blind test were guitar number one were the Diderios, guitar number two were the gold strings. All right, so here are my final thoughts on these two sets of strings. Let's start by talking about the tone and then the playability or the feel of each set. So when it came to tone, I definitely could hear the difference mostly in the high end. The Diderios had more bright, lively, cutting high end and the Optima's definitely a more controlled, kind of mellower high end. At least that's how I could hear, you know, the differences between the set. That was really the only way I could tell between, you know, the set. They did sound very similar, but when it came to the high end, uh, the cheap Diderios definitely had a little bit more cut and the Optima's a little bit more warmth. And that's really a hallmark of almost all coated strings, whether it, you know, it's coated in 24 karat gold or something else. Uh, the coated strings tend to have a little bit uh, warmer tone, but better longevity. In other words, this set would probably sound exactly like this, you know, a month or a month and a half from now, whereas, you know, the Diderios might die out in two weeks, depending on, you know, how much you're playing them. So that's the advantage of the coated strings. Uh, they tend to last longer and these ones are tarnish resistant, um, but they do sound a little warmer. So I think many of us know how a basic set of strings feel and let's be honest, the Diderios are classics. They're pretty much everywhere. In fact, Diderio makes strings for a bunch of other brands too. So even if you haven't bought Diderios, chances are you've probably come across something that they've made. Now, when it comes to coated strings, they feel very different, oftentimes very, very slippery and you don't have the same feel or grip um, as you do with a basic set. Well, I'm happy to say that the Optimas don't have that slippery coating. That 24 karat gold, gold whatever you know they use, uh, it feels like a regular set, which is awesome. So if the longevity is good and the, you know, the tone stays the same over a long period of time, I've got to say the feel is much nicer than you know, a regular coated string. So the big question is, would I buy the Optimas again? Well, I gotta say, I don't think I would. I think I'm gonna stick with my cheap, you know, super slinkies, Diderios, those kind of strings. I think those give you the best bang for your buck. Now, when it comes to something specialty or fun or unique, I think I would. Something like this guitar, in fact, I don't know why I didn't put them on this guitar, that's just a natural fit. So anyway, something like this where it's black and gold, I think a gold set of strings would be absolutely killer. And you know, this is a guitar that I just break out once in a while to play. It is very, very beautiful. So I think something like this, I might throw a set of Optimas on just because it looks so cool and they'll last a long time. So I, you know, when it comes to regular guitars, I don't think I would, but for something fun and unique, I think they're pretty cool. So thanks for watching. You can check out this t-shirt in the video description below. Tab store, all the gear I use, all that stuff is listed down below. Have yourself a great day.